Hey everybody, this is David at Homestead Hacks. Uh, let's talk about laying chickens today. And what we got here, we got some, we got two Rhode Island Reds that are digging through the goat enclosure. This is, it's kind of a mess in here, so kind of uh, ignore the mess. I got to clean up in here a little bit. But uh, the chickens, they stay in here at nighttime. The the laying chickens, the game chickens. Uh, the game chickens actually roost up here in, in the rafters and the the laying chickens right there's one of their roost right there and of course they'll roost on top of the hay feeder which I need to get a top on so because so they don't contaminate the hay they actually had it tore down so I just had to put it back up uh, <laughs> there's my pot belly pig Daisy May She's wondering what's going on in here. But anyway, what I want to talk about, uh, if you want the benefit of free range chickens without the danger, now this is one way you can do it and this is how I do it. These chickens right here were, was raised in this pen right here. So they can come and go as they please. They can jump the fence outside, which I'll show you here in a second. And they also have free access to the barn, which is a little bit messy. But the, the thing is, when you have something like this, you need to have some designated places for them to lay eggs. I do have a nest right over there that I'll pull eggs from. And I also have one, like I say, please ignore the mess. I have one right here that they, they've laid today. So there's four eggs there today. So what you got when, when you when you let them free range, you give them benefits of eating everything that they need in the yard as far as protein and grass goes. That is very important. If you pin your chickens up, the only th way that you can get them to lay is to feed them laying pellets which is unhealthy for them and is very expensive. Laying pellets, I think, are around about $18 a bag, something like that. They're very expensive. And if you got to go that route, you just well buy your eggs from a farmer somewhere because it's just too high. Now, you can see right here, there's a there's a laying hen right there, Rhode Island Red. And they count, like I said, they come and go as they please. But at nighttime, this is very important, at nighttime, they come in here and they're protected inside with the goats. Now, the, you wouldn't think, and a lot of people argued this with me, about coyotes and such. Uh, and just like a beehive, you see how the enclosure is very small. Well, the smaller you keep that enclosure of coming in, just enough room for those goats to come and go, the more protection they'll have for predators coming in. Now, I feel sorry for any raccoon or possum that would come in here because I can assure you these goats will kill them instantly. They just won't try it because there's too many obstacles and too many goats in here, and these goats are aggressive. Uh, don't underestimate goats uh, when it comes to protecting their own because they will. And Buster right there, uh, if my lab, my 70-pound my lab gets in here, Buster will put her on her back immediately. Uh, she's He's extremely protective of his uh, female goats and anything that invades this area right here, he will completely protect it. I've never had an issue with this. This is one way that you can raise goats and chickens together. Now, here's another benefit. A lot of people don't think about this. A lot of pathogens and parasites, you see these chickens right here, what they're doing? They're digging and they're eating any pathogen and parasite that's in the area. Now, does that completely eradicate them from, from worms? Probably not, but I can tell you what, it makes a huge difference. Because these goats right here, I'll be honest with you, I'll be straight up honest with you. Look how big they are. And look how fat and healthy they are. I never worm these goats. And because... And a lot of people don't like to, to believe this, but they, like I said, those chickens, they will dig and they will eat pathogens, para, parasites, worms. They are very 
their eyesight is is very keen and and they will dig and eat all that stuff up in your yard now like i said does it make them completely wormless probably not but i can assure you look at look at the look at that goat right there how healthy she is and any of these goats look how fat they are they're fat healthy meaty and got a lot of a lot of meat on them now these aren't meat goats of course they're just uh they're just pygmy goats but these things right here they work perfectly together with with chickens because they protect each other because the the chickens will protect them from from parasites and worms and in return these goats will protect them from predators it's a perfect combination that you can raise together uh now a lot of people when when they run these uh, chicken tractors they'll run them right behind uh, old pastures of cattle and goats and such because they know as they run those tractors through they'll pick up all the parasites and it cleans the area up but this is an ongoing process right here these chickens are always living in here and this soil right here this is extremely valuable soil i can assure you this stuff right here is extremely rich in uh old hay manure and this stuff is you won't find a better uh uh, composting material than this right here. It's dry. It's not wet. It's a. Uh, you could use this anywhere in your garden or any flower pots. It's extremely nourishable for any plants. So a good combination going on it right here. So if you're thinking about doing that now, another thing I want to talk about is the eggs, and, I, and I'm going to talk a little bit about eggs here in just a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm back at my house. I picked the eggs up. Uh, this this was just an evening egg pickup. Uh, now, what we got, we got four eggs here. I want to explain a little bit about eggs. Uh, a lot of people think as soon as you get them, you need to take them and put them in the refrigerator. That's so completely untrue. Now, the thing with eggs is, once once they're laid, the, the trick is do not wash them. Because if you wash them, you wash off the protective slime. There's like a, now that may sound gross, but the, the, the hen emits like a, a mucus type material that coats the egg. And it closes up the pores because eggs are very porous. There's actually bacteria. As soon as you wash it, you wash off that material that's plugging up those pores. And then bacteria can get inside and start destroying the egg. So the trick is to get those eggs, do not wash them, and you can keep them on your counter countertop safely for at least two weeks, at least. Probably a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna I'm not gonna go out on a limb too far because as long as you don't wash them. Now the thing is, if you get some that's dirty, go ahead and wash them, but use those up. But the ones that are clean, like these right here, go ahead and keep these. And what we got here is a, it's called a egg skelter. And what it does, as you get your eggs, you will uh, you roll them down to the bottom. Of course, I mean, you could just do this too, but just to explain how this thing works, it's called an egg skelter. Now, it'll hold, I think, Close to a dozen and a half, two dozen eggs, not really sure. But the way it works is you lay your eggs on top, and then your newest, your oldest eggs are always used up first. So if I collect eggs tomorrow, they, be, they will be back here. Next day, they'll be back here, and, and so forth. So you always pick up this egg here to use it first. So, and these things right here, if you've got three or four hens, you could keep this thing full all the time and always have these eggs on your countertop. And they work very well. And uh, they're actually pretty attractive for your countertop. They look they look really country looking. So it's just an idea that you can uh, use. It's called an egg skelter. You can find these online from anywhere from $10 to $20. It just depends who you buy them from. They're, they're very... They're very simple. There's nothing to them. And it's just kind of the way it works. It just, you use up your old eggs first. And that's as simple as that. So just a, a little uh, 
little knowledge about laying hens and and how you can keep them with other animals and how they work well together and they work very well together with with uh with goats and you could even do this with with larger animals like cattle and they'll actually protect the chickens from being killed by coyotes and and uh but goats are better because they're smaller like if a if a raccoon or something would come in you know a cow or a horse may not be able to see it like a, a smaller goat can so goats work very well sheep would work good as well too so just a little advice from homestead hacks uh and don't forget click on the little bell please help spread our youtube videos we're trying to get this uh, channel up and growing like and subscribe thanks for watching homestead hacks